Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our POS system in PHP. So now guys, in this video, we are going to create with the order filter. So guys, where we are going to use this order date and the payment status. So now guys, let's get started. So let's move to this orders.php file and create a filter form here. Okay. So let, let's go inside the error admin folder and move inside orders.php file. And here is our card header. Okay. So now guys, let's create the row and columns. So let me just zoom it. Create row, column MD4. Then you have to push this your heading of orders inside the column MD4 and then column MD8. Inside this column MD8, add the form tag and then method, which is going to be a get and action is going to be null right now. So now guys, let's add row and use a gutter hyphen one that is g1 column md4 and then input type is date given name attribute and value date then value open and close equal to so what is the value going to be your parameter get date so check if it is set of get method just get the date let me break this down so it will be more clear okay if it is set double equal to true use a ternary operator and just echo this echo else null that's it guys semicolon and let me break this down here we end though before this i just need to add a class for form design i mean input design that is form control and now let's see the output for this first refresh perfect so here you see we have an input type date let's get back add a column md4 again for the select mode which is payment status and let me make as a class here form hyphen select and give a option tag where cash or online okay so what is this cash it's payment so cash payment and online payment and here you change that as cash underscore payment then online payment and you can again keep here like select payment status and keep the value null here and now guys finally one more column md4 for the button so add a button here one will be for the reset which goes to orders.php itself let me design this button 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 hyphen danger and a submit button which is going to be like filter so add a class button primary and this button type will be submit sub mit perfect guys so now let us see the output for it refresh cool so now guys let me try to add cash payment filter here so you see that we have a date and the payment cash payment okay so if you select with other date filter here you see we have that exact date whatever it's printed here and guys if you are selecting this cash payment then here it's your parameter value right your payment status parameter by default here also it should be selected so let's make that so what you have to do you just need to add a simple code here let me break it down okay echo close use a set function dollar underscore get method of payment status so just paste here if it is true then you will tell get some value else keep it null so first in this condition what we'll be doing let me bring this down and use open and close bracket dollar underscore get method of payment status is double equal to whatever value you have stored so here right now we it is empty 
so we don't need to work here so what we'll do control x and paste for this cash payment so let's paste here okay let me bring it down it will be more clear yep so this is null value guys you don't need to validate this you can just keep as it is and now here you need to copy this value payment and paste here if this is equal to cash payment whatever status parameter it is open ternary and give the value as selected else null and then your else condition comes here let me break it so it will be more clear so same way you are going to copy this and paste for your second online option so let me paste it so paste here and then just change this parameter value now if you refresh so here you see it's by default selected cash payment and now let me select online click filter perfect and by default it's online cool so now guys when we click on this filter we need to filter this order also so let's get back and write the query for it so let me minimize this form and get below so this is my query okay so first step guys you need to check with the if else conditions so let me tell here this is my if and this is the else and here this query is going to be inside let me break it down so it will be clear for you okay so inside this if condition first we will check whether it is set or not so what it is set that your get request of your parameter that is date okay so what is the date here yep date and then payment status let's copy this payment status just use or symbol and again check it is set get method of payment status and now let's tell the order date equal to dollar underscore get method of date and now guys we need to validate because sql injection might be done so to escape that we need to validate it let's copy and paste and do the validation for payment status and here your payment status also comes perfect so now guys let's write the query so first if condition dollar order date if it is not equal to null and your double equal to null then you are going to copy this query paste here in this where condition use a and and tell order underscore date from which table it is from the order table okay so just tell order table dot date equal to single quotes your dollar order date that's it guys and now let us go with the else if condition open and close curly brace now if your order date is double equal to null now my order date is null and payment status not equal to null then what you have to do copy this query paste and just change this to payment underscore status not payment status it is let me just see that in the order table it is payment mode okay so you can get back instead of payment status just add payment mode and your payment again else if if both have the data like dollar order date not equal to null and your payment status is not equal to null so what will be the query let me copy this and paste here so you need to copy this also your order date and then your payment mode so let me break it down this is my order date and then the payment mode option which is payment status both have to be shown and then guys you can again use the else condition at last and just paste your last query so what is that you can just use the same part that's it done guys and now 
let us see the output for this let's move refresh so let me reset so by default you have no filter here let's filter according to the date so if i filter today date filter here no record found let me reset and here you see you have some date here right that is 12th october let me go to october 12th here we filter and you get two records perfect so now guys on this payment status like you have two records one is 12th cash payment and on the second 12th you have online payment now if i select with the cash payment it should give only the cash payment so right now you see that there is no record why because we have not given the correct value what we have stored here so as you see that we have an online payment in this format of value and also the cash payment so you have to store in this format at this parameter value so let's get back to our form so this is my form where filter form and here is my payment select payment status or mode and this is for the cash payment let me paste the correct value here so make it to cash payment let's copy and paste here also so same way guys for the online you have to pay online payment and here also okay now if you get back just refresh reset go to 12th october filter with the cash filter perfect so we have got it now if you go to online so you see that the online payment comes and let me select the select payment status filter here you get only that particular date result perfect done guys so guys we have successfully done with how to create a filter option in our pos system this is a very simple filter option guys if you want you can create many things about tracking id you can just add that search box for the searching the tracking number okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share